My name is Etsuko. And I am Masaru. Adjective sentences. During this session, we will cover adjective sentences. Are adjective sentences like it's delicious, it's big, or it's good? Yes, that's right. They are used to describe everything, including animated things like human beings. Let's talk about adjective sentences then. Okay. Verbal sentences have this structure. Do you remember? <laughs> of course. Adjective tree is similar, but it is a little different. This is adjective tree. Negative verbal question structure. The second topic is the sentence structure. Negative verbal question structure. There are two usages. One, negative question as a negative question. It is used as a negative question such as, don't you eat breakfast? Don't you understand this word? I don't use it because it sometimes causes confusion. Why is that? Japanese use hi and ie differently from yes and no. Hai is yes and ie is no, aren't they? Yes, you're correct. But Japanese use hai or ie reversed when they answer to a negative question. So if I ask my Japanese friend Yuku in Japanese, did you eat it? She would answer, no, I ate it. She would. A problem is that some native Japanese speakers who have been living in Japan for a long time, they tend to mix hai and ie to a negative question. Okay, I will answer to Yuku with a full sentence when Yuku uses a negative question. Oh, there is a funny story about Japanese student and English teacher. Karen, an English teacher, explained the difference between if and though to a Japanese student, Hiroshi. Hiroshi still seemed to have a problem. So Karen asked him, You didn't understand this? Hiroshi answered, Yes. Karen continued, So you understand this? And Hiroshi's answer, No. Hiroshi's first response, yes, means what Karen said is right. His second response, no, meant, no, I do not understand this. Negative question as an invitation. Negative question is used to invite someone to do something. For example, showing cookies. Tabemasen ka? means, won't you eat these cookies? What should I say when I would like to eat them? You would say, arigatou gozaimasu, itadakimasu. Thank you. I humbly accept them. What if I don't want them, though? Chotto sumimasen. Can I use these sentences as invitations? No, itadakimasu means that you receive something. In other words, there is an ownership change. When you accept these cookies, they are yours. When you, your Japanese friend invite you to her party saying, kimasen ka? You should say, arigatou gozaimasu. And you should drop itadakimasu. Because I don't own or take over her party, right? Yes. When I turn down her invitation, can I say, chotto sumimasen? Yes, you can. Don't Japanese say itadakimasu at her dinner table before they start eating? Yes. According to a Buddhist idea, people say itadakimasu to the food, which means that we will accept your life and will make it my life. Now I know why I should not leave any food on my plate. Good. Usage of ikimasu and kimasu. The last grammar point is ikimasu and kimas. Ikimas kimas are similar to go and come, but there is a little difference. What is the difference? There are two possible situations. Number one, 
Suppose that we have a study session at my home, and I'm waiting for you. I call you up and ask you if you come. In English, I say I am coming. In Japanese, you should say ikimas. Ikimas in this case refers to my motion away from where I am. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, trying to. I... All right. <laughs>